Hi everyone, my name is Zhang Minli. Today I'm going to present Chat Manager, a generic chat management framework for geo distributed application. Facebook provides some of the most popular social apps that offer a rich set of functionality and used by billions of users every day. Given its scale and diversity in their function, supporting this product requires highly scalable and sophisticated backend services running on many data centers, such as key value stores, ML inference, stream processing, and database systems. Operating these backend services in a data center environment requires solving a common set of problems. And therefore, we have deployed layers of unified software infrastructure stack to address those problems. To provide high-level overview, from the bottom of the stack, hardware management system called RAS manages hardware resources. On top of that, a container management system called Twine manages containers running on hardware provided by RAS. On top of Twine, the shard manager, which I'm presenting today, helps scaling and operating backend services by providing common solutions to various complex problems by assigning shards to containers. Before we dive into shards manager, let's first look into the basic concept of sharding. Sharding is a common strategy to scale an application that deals with a large amount of state. At high level, it partitions the applications work into smaller multiple shards and distribute them across different servers. Each shard ha may have multiple replicas for fault tolerance or a performance. It can typically have at most one primary replica and arbitrary number of secondary replica. With the common usage of sharding, we built a shard manager, a generic shard management framework that helps efficiently manage sharded services and avoid duplicate engineering effort. Therefore, high adoption rate is a, adoption rate is a key goal. Currently, Shard Manager manages hundreds of diverse app applications, which account for about 54% of sharded applications at Facebook. They are running on over 1 million of machines across 10 plus regions, and in aggregate, they host about 100 million shards. And for the rest of this talk, I will talk about how Shard Manager achieved successful adoption. There are three key motivators which played an important role and are unique to Shard Manager. Supporting application availability, enabling geo-distributed applications, and supporting complex shard placement at scale. Let's first look at how shard measure offers application availability. In data centers, there are many events that affect applications availability. They can be either planned events such as application update, kernel update, and hardware maintenance, or unplanned events such as software hardware failures and network disconnect. And this chart shows that Compared to unplanned event, planned operation causes about 1,000 times more frequent container stops. And this implies that if we treat planned operation same as unplanned failure, it may amplify applications unavailability significantly. As a result, planned operation should be handled proactively. Therefore, Shard Manager handles planned operation gracefully. In particular, it coordinates with the underlying container manager, Twine, to safely operate container lifecycle events. Twine does not have visibility into state of application, but provides test control API to collaborate with the application for safely performing container operation. And Shard Manager integrates with the test control API to achieve high shard availability on behalf of all sharded applications running on it. And here's an example of interaction between Twine and Shard Manager for machine maintenance and container restart for software update. First, Twine learns about maintenance scheduled on container four and sends a notification to Shard Manager. Shard Manager then proactively moves away Shard on the container before the maintenance start. Next, Twine receives the request for restarting container one to three and notifies Shard Manager of it. Shard Manager then selects a subset of containers and moves Shard away from those containers, then allows Twine to proceed. And after restarting those containers, the coordination continues for the remaining containers. In addition to handling planned operation gracefully, Shard Manager also offers graceful migration of primary Shard replica, since a primary replica often carries important responsibility, such as handling write. It is achieved with a specific protocol allowing request forwarding to minimize the primary replica downtime. And please refer to the paper for further details of the protocol. 
Now we'll describe an experiment that demonstrates the effectiveness of two mechanisms. Here we restart application servers, 10% of them at a time, and observe the request success rate. With none of these mechanisms applied, the success rate is below 90%. And if you enable test control only, it increased to 90-80%. Finally, with both mechanisms enabled, the success rate reaches 100%. We also confirmed this behavior with a production example. And these charts demonstrate that the error rate for Facebook Messenger backend services remains stable during daily software update leveraging both mechanisms. And currently, 94% of applications with a primary replica role use these features for high availability. The next key motivator for Shard Manager's wide adoption is its ability to support geo-distributed applications. With a shard manager, an application can be either deployed in a regional mode or in geo-distributed mode. With regional deployment, a complete set of copy is hosted in a region, and it may be duplicated to provide redundancy. For shard cannot move from one region to another. With the geo-distributed de deployment, shard may be placed across multiple regions and migrate from one to another. In general, this provides more flexibility in flexibility in capacity planning and may need a few replicas. For example, in this figure, if a whole region outage occurs, with a geo-distributed deployment, the shard on a failed region can be easily rebuilt in other region. In contrast, with a regional deployment, it is more difficult to find a region with enough capacity to accommodate a complete, complete copy of the shard, hence, the application open over provision an additional copy of a shard ahead of time. Therefore, the geo-distributed deployment is favored in general, and shard manager provides two capabilities to support it, global coordination of planned operation and support for global shard placement. To provide global coordination for planned operation, shard manager control plane is deployed as a global service and interact with the multiple regional twine instances through test control API. In this way, shard manager prevent each twine instances from performing operations that may make shard multiple replicas in different regions unavailable at, at the same time. In addition to the global coordination, shard manager also provides global shard placement support, such as spreading replicas of the same shard across region for both forums, promptly allocating shard on failed machine across the region, and et cetera. And please refer to the paper for further details of placement support. Currently, the 67% of shard manager applications use geo-distributed deployment, which account for 42% of application server. In recent years, we have observed a strong trend of migration from regional to geo-distributed deployment. Last key motivator for shard manager's wide adoption is its support for complex shard placement at scale. We have shown some examples of placement constraints for supporting geo-distributed deployment. And there are many additional ones that satisfies various applications needs. And there are some key challenges to achieve such advanced placement support. First, the growing number of features has exponentially increased the complexity of our placement constraint Therefore, we need an extensible allocator. Second, given the increasing scale of our backend services and the requirement to react to certain events quickly, having a performance allocator is also crucial. And to achieve this goal, Shard Manager employs a generic server framework. For extensibility, Shard Manager uses a server's simple yet expressive API, which also significantly reduces the code complexity. As shown in this slide, various, various constraints and goals can be ex expressed with only a few lines of code. As a result, adopting generic server reduced the line of code by 80% compared to, to our old heuristic-based implementation. As for meeting performance requirement, the commonly used solution of mixed integer programming does not satisfy shard measures need to react to events quickly. Therefore, Shard Manager instead use local search with several optimizations, such as providing domain specific hints to local search. And experiment results shown here demonstrate the effectiveness of the optimization. 
And given a synthetic initial state with a hundred of constraint violations, the optimized allocator stabilizes in less than 50 seconds, while the baseline cannot even finish in 300 seconds. Currently, the many applications use advanced placement features supported by Shard Manager. And for example, the load balancing based on multiple resources is adopted for 65% of application servers. In summary, we describe the Shard Manager, which is a highly adopted generic Shard Management framework at Facebook. And to achieve that, it upholds application availability, enables geo-distributed application, and supports complex Shard placement at scale. Thank you for watching.